guy's silly, I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker! Uh, guys, I figure this documenting the uh, build process will only work if I actually document what I'm doing. I've not been doing anything interesting, but still been doing sanding. Sanding and more sanding. Because that's what you have to do for making some polishing a turd. But anyway, uh, I'll show you what I've been doing. I've spent the last three or four hours on the on the front bumper, on a wee bit of the front bumper. It still looks like shit. Still cracks in it, and I'm um, waiting on getting my rotary tool off the internet to get the fiberglassing done on that. But that should be here in the next couple of days. Then I can crack on with doing that and the back bumper. Uh, I'll show you guys the back bumper in a second, just for a recap. But yeah, I'll show you guys the progress on the front. So here is a bit that I've been doing. Looks like shit, like I was saying, but it's a bit less shit than it was. There's a crack in the bottom that I was saying, but all right, I'm waiting on the rotary tool coming off the internet and. Just gonna I'll show you guys me the process of me doing that. I'm gonna chop down chop all that bits out, go and drill in at the end of the crack there to take the stress off of the bit of fiberglass. So hopefully it's not all wavy and shite, but it's gonna be a bit wavy. It's gonna be a bit dodgy because it's already had the filler on it. But yeah. It's a bit better than it was. It's kinda curving a wee bit of needs, maybe another couple of hours, but Closer, it's closer than it was. Did the nose yesterday. It's a bit dusty from from uh, yeah. Uh, it's a bit dusty from me doing that, but uh, that's the latest on the nose. It's a bit again. It probably doesn't look that different on camera. It doesn't really look that different in real life, but you'll be able to tell when it comes. You know, I'm gonna get the primer on it. The primer is ordered. I uh, got a high build primer for this this bits here like you see all those wee dimples and stuff like that needs to fill in all those wee dimples all those white bits there that's like the dust filling in the uh, porosity like porosity in the uh, filler which has caused wee air bubbles basically and that's happened on this bit here too it's a bit of, been a bit of a dodgy job but basically the high build primer is like a really thick paint so we'll be able to spray some of that on, then sand it back. More sanding. Yay, more fucking sanding. So, uh, yeah. Also, I'm going to need to... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. But, I'll show you what I need to do with the back. With the back, I need to like chop down all these bits here. With the rotary tool, that will be here in a few days. And do the same, but the crack goes all the way, don't know if I've shown you guys yet, but the crack on the back goes all the way to the bottom. Like that bit's alright. Also, I don't know what the score is with that bar. You can see that there's a bar underneath there that kind of holds the bumper rigid. I don't know if that's going to be sketchy if we're going on track because that might like swing round and fly off and impale someone or some shit like that, some like dangerous stuff. So we might need to take that out for you know track tech. So wait and see. But yeah, some more sanding. So I'll make another wee video in probably like another seven or eight hours worth of sanding. <laughs> or by the time where yeah when we start you know, painting it when we start putting colour on it. I'll make another wee video. That's going to be in the next few days. So yeah, expect a video in the next few days. Tell me, guys. Tell me, guys, uh, what you reckon to the new intro? Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. Jacket on the highway, when I do that, all the boy, I listen to me, crazy, and I'm jacking on your